Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you for tuning into this video. Today's gonna be a pretty exciting one. I will be showing you guys the process of me ceramic putting my new wheels. These wheels are for the one and only uh, GD2 and 4 that I have. Um, don't think anyone out there has done these wheels or rocked these wheels on their car, especially with this type of setup. I've never seen anybody rock uh, a pair of these. I'll show you guys in a bit which wheels they are. Um, but today we're gonna be doing a ceramic coating on these just to protect from that brake dust that our cars are prone to and just to keep them clean, easier to clean, all that good stuff. You'll see the perks as um, we get done with the ceramic coating and I test out the wheels, the before and after. So I don't know if the lighting is too good, but the wheels, these are the wheels. We are running a um, some TE37 SLs. They are an 18 by 9.5. And we are rocking a Nitto, the NT Triple Five R2s. And in the size of a 275 40 R18. So I wanted to do a 285, but those are like on national back order. So I have those back ordered. For now, we're gonna run something a little smaller like this, but this is a square setup. So it still runs good. You know, that that's actually a tire size that the sock the non-comp wheels on the GD2M4's rock is the 275 40 R18. Um, so it's actually pretty close. It'll run really similar to a stock fitment, believe it or not. Um, but it's it's very, very exciting. Other than the squared, of course. Um, you can't run a 18 point by 9.5 in the rear without a uh, pretty large spacer, which we're gonna be running a 25 millimeter in the back. But yeah, that's the wheel setup. Very excited to put this on the car and test them out um, because honestly, the power level that we're at right now, as you guys know, uh, definitely doesn't hook, especially with the uh, stock competition wheels and on Pirelli's, not Michelin's. We lost the tire lottery so definitely doesn't look like the Michelin's. All right, so the ceramic coating pop that we're gonna be using today is uh, Crystal Serum Light. This is by G-Technic. They have a lot of great products for not only ceramic coatings, uh, protecting your paint and uh, detailing, stuff like that. Today, this is what we're gonna be using. This comes with everything you need. The gloves, of course. You're gonna wanna use gloves. They come included in the kit there. The box is kind of beat up because I already opened it, but they're going to be giving you this. This is a ceramic coating itself here. This is also going to come with a little pipette to apply the ceramic coating onto the applicator pad, which also comes in the kit, of course. I'm going to show you guys step by step how to do this. It's honestly so simple. I wish I knew this before so I could do this to all my wheels, even my factory wheels. But good thing we're gonna do it to these, you know, before they're even on the road, you know, so they're brand new. So what you wanna do before you apply any of this is clean the wheels as best as possible. You wanna use a nice, uh, just soap and water. So, you know, if you've used the wheels before, and you know they've been on the car and they have a lot of brake dust grind stuff like that you want to use something like a strong heavy duty wheel cleaner to get rid of all that and then wash it with soap and water make sure it's super clean to the touch and after that you're able to apply this ceramic coating we already did that these wheels haven't been mounted of course and they were already clean but we still cleaned them up just to make sure everything's clean to the touch and yeah we're gonna get started on this Another thing you will need as well is a microfiber towel. Uh, this is just one of a few that I'll be using on this. You're gonna wanna use this to wipe it off after we have applied it onto the wheel. You can also apply the Crystal Serum Light onto the car itself, not just the wheels, of course. And it gives a lot of benefits, you know, easier to clean the car, stuff like that. Uh, but let's get started. All right, so to get started, kind of like almost anything, you want to shake it up, make sure it's mixed, especially if it's been sitting. I already gave it a good shake. Um, we're going to want to open it up, of course, and then... Like that. And we want to apply several drops or so onto the applicator.
in the instructions it does say to do like a full one. A full pipette, I guess. But um Yeah, let's get started. Applicator has a nice little handle thing here. And we're gonna wanna start on the outside here. Apply it nice and slow. You don't have to do it all quick. All right, that's good. And now we can start here. It is a wheel. It is easier to probably do this on a car, honestly. Especially with all these little grooves inside the wheel. Well, we're gonna try our best today. This is actually my first time doing this. Um, I watched a lot of tutorials, read the instructions thoroughly. I told myself I was only going to do the face of the wheel, but we definitely want to do parts like this of the wheel. Now you can tell right away that, you know, it's making the surface a little more smooth, actually a lot more smooth and more uh, hydrophobic. So once you get a good layer on there, you want to get a nice clean microfiber towel and smoothly wipe it away. I bet it's much easier to do a panel on a car, like a fender, a hood, than to do a wheel because of all these little. I also tend to forget all the parts that I went over already. But you don't want to go over it too much as well. All right, so I'm gonna go over it again with another microfiber towel. Nothing too crazy, but just to make sure to get all the excess. If you're gonna do this to your wheels, make sure that they've already been rotated and all that because if you put this serum onto the inside of the wheels where they mount the, or they stick the weights for the wheel, they won't stick, the weights will fall off because it's a lot more hydrophobic, right? Um, stuff won't stick like dirt and stuff like that to this, uh, to this product. So make sure before you apply this, you want to make sure that the tire is on that already. Or just be careful if you're not going to do it on the inside. Like I didn't do too much on the inside, to be honest. Um, I don't really care for it. Um, but yeah, I think it's good to go. I definitely want to test it out, you know, after it's cured and all that. They say give it like half a day, 12 hours or so to cure before you take it out, mount it onto the car, you know, get exposure to weather like rain, sun and stuff like that. You don't want to do this in the direct sunlight either. You want to make sure that you do it in a well ventilated area, like a garage, like I'm doing, I'm doing it in my garage. And you don't want it to be too cold. You don't want it to be too hot. Um, so yeah, it's like, it's 100 degrees outside. You know, some people live in places where it gets like that, it gets like that here all the way as low as like 10 degrees I've seen. Um, but yeah, you wanna do it kind of between like maybe 40 degrees Fahrenheit, absolute minimum, and as high as maybe 
70, 80 degrees, you know, room temperature. Um, that would be perfect. All right, guys, so once you guys are done removing it with your microfiber towel, you don't want to do too much, by the way, you want to just do a nice wipe over it. Let them cure for at least 12 hours. You know, keep them indoors in a good ventilated area, as well as an area with, you know, room temperature would be best, more or less. Just to be safe, you can leave, let them cure for a day or so. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. That's basically it. You know, just, you just want to do them over again on all four of your wheels. That's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. All right, so this is a before, right? So we're gonna see how hydrophobic the wheels are before any sort of ceramic coating is added onto it. These wheels are just cleaned with water and soap and dry. So we'll see what the difference is here. Okay, that's pretty hydrophobic, not bad. See right here pretty hydrophobic right i mean the water is still there you can see the little beads there let's try right here this is going to be a little bit more hydrophobic because of the sticker yeah that was pretty pretty nice let's see right here okay yeah pretty simple you know pretty not bad you know but water does stick to it um excited to see how that does without the um i'm sorry with the ceramic coating cured and all good to go all right so they should have cured let's see if there is a difference wow so once again the product is crystal serum light it is by g technic or g technique i think that sounds pretty pretty dope instead of g technic i don't know Pretty dope name though. I'll show you guys later on how easy it is to clean the wheels once they are all cured and bounced off the corner. If you guys are looking for this product to get it yourselves, it does support the channel to get it through the link in the description. If you guys enjoyed this video or found it helpful in any way, I would absolutely appreciate it if you guys would leave a like, leave a comment as well. I always enjoy reading those. And also don't forget to subscribe. Any support you guys give to this channel, I greatly appreciate. And make sure to stay tuned for future videos. This is just the beginning, to be honest. And I'm going to be coming out with a lot of amazing content, guys. We're going to be getting the car back here pretty soon, mounting these wheels, and doing a lot of amazing stuff. But I will leave the video off there, guys. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the